Hello growers, let's check on growth. So I saw Elon Musk had um, a statement saying that he wanted to make his company either SpaceX or Tesla to work, not because they're easy and not because it has a high chance of success. Actually, he estimated it was only like 10% for, for either of the company. But why does he do it? Even if he did not make it work, even if it fails eventually, he can actually still provide something good to the society, including that, he said, altering the misconception that e electronic vehicle is old, boring, ugly, um, and just like golf cart. So now he's proven it. Like everybody knows electronic, uh, electronic vehicle is the future and it's, it's, it's sexy, it's fast, um, it can be high tech. It's a new vision that people see. So what, what I want to say is the reason I'm building Thoro.app is because I didn't know about self-development. And actually before I dive into this area, I thought self-development is not something that I actually need. I thought it's for the people who, who, who doesn't know themselves well, who, who don't know how to deal with things in, my, in, in their lives. I thought I know how to deal with my inner conflicts. I know like I have some good results. Um, I went to good college. I applied to the US. I got into Cornell. I studied architecture, etc. I don't feel like I need that. Um, but in a leadership course, I found out that to lead others is actually the same as leading yourself because all the inner conflicts, all the psychology is the same. How you talk to yourself, actually, usually that's how you talk to others. In the seven habits of highly effective people, Stephen Covey mentioned that there's a gap. There's a space in between a stimuli and your response. No matter what happens to me, let's say somebody on the street was angry, yelling at me. So I can react and then feel angry about this person. Why do you do this random act on me? But I can also choose to see that this person has maybe his disability, his frustration, and no matter what he's doing, he's doing because he didn't know any better. So that's what he chose uh, he, he choose to do. Then if I look at this in this way, I don't feel angry anymore. I might be careful. I might actually want to help him or I'm like, I would have all kinds of different kind of response that I can have um, other than just getting angry and getting back at him. So this gap, this space in between a sweet stimuli and your response is actually what self-development and self-growth is all about. Whatever you learn initially, it is not your instinct. Like you learn some new perspective, it, it will feel weird in the beginning, right? Um, you, in, uh, in, you intuitively will have some emotional response to whatever you, you encounter in your daily life. But then once and twice, if you find new perspective that, uh, that comes in and then change how you look at things, then you start to know um, it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to happen every time in the old way. You can start to have new choices. That's when uh, you, you understand what is, uh, is called a, a paradigm shift which is uh, you look at this whole thing in a whole, whole other way. So an example in uh, Stephen Covey's um, book, Seven Habits, is that he was in the subway and uh, a, a man with uh, his two children came in and the children were pl playing around like being very loud and jumping up and down. Um, and the man just sat down next to him and didn't say anything. So Stephen Covey was like frustrated, like, why do you let your kids that runs around and do, do all this? And so he, he, he couldn't help but just ask this man politely, okay, could you please um, quiet them down? It's, it's uh, making other passengers this, uh, uh, uncomfortable. 
But then, so this man suddenly like came back to life. Like he was like out, like I don't know where where he was in in his mind. He he replied, "Oh, I'm so sorry. My wife just died in the hospital, and I really don't know what to do right now. Um, I think my my children might be the same." And Stephen Covey heard this, and he was like, he was really, he became very compassionate about the situation of the men. So instead of judging him, he became, he he started to offer help to this this guy. That is a paradigm shift. Initially, before you understand certain facts, you you don't know any better. You would react. You, you basically do, do what you think is right. But if you stop and actually look at, or to understand more about any anything, you will see different perspective, and it actually helps you become more effective in your life. And by effective, I mean whatever you want to uh, pursue or get in life. Those are your own judgment and and your desire, but. The problem is, are you getting it right now? Like, if you are working towards it and you feel like you're getting it in the near future, that's really great for you. But if you're if if you're feeling that it is still like kind of a, a far fetch, it's possible、um, that your mindset needs some little tweak, which means you probably don't、uh, never heard about or like never、uh, seen. Some stuff in a, a different way, so you can actually change your behavior in uh, uh, in a in an effective way. Okay, so I'm putting the link、uh, to Thoro dot app down below. Go ahead and try it out.、Um, I'm going to add a new feature which you can talk directly to me.、Uh, let me know what、uh, what 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 kind of habits that you actually want to work on right now. I'm also building up. Uh, different question sets that can ideally answers or try to help you answer a lot of、uh, question in self、uh, exploration, perhaps to understand why and where the fe-、uh, the fear of some stuff that comes from.、Um, you might have a fear for public speaking or for relationship or for、um, to have a bigger goal in your life in general. Like where does those、uh, a fear comes from? So. All that will come and add in like day by day. So stay in tuned, and I will see you next time.